My background is really in everything to do with architecture. In other words, for about 30 years I have been working in or for architects on projects now about architecture. So currently what I do, having had experience with the Canadian Centre for Architecture, with Heritage Montreal, with working on built projects, with working um, for ARCOP, the architects, for many years. And now what I've done is to become a consultant. And so what I do is a lot of projects about architecture. So it can be exhibitions, I've written books, I do organized visits principally for architects and I do a lot of teaching now which I love um, and so that's really where I'm at now. Uh, the architecture of Montreal is fascinating because it is such a wonderful mix in that respect. It's, it's, it's an architecture as a city of many different layers. Um, you can see within this largely 19th century fabric uh, elements that that are wonderful and insolite, unusual from the 20th century, from the 20th, first century. It is an architecture that is in many ways very recognizable as being particular to Montreal. I think specifically of the triplexes, for example. Um, its use of materiality, the use of greystone, is very particular to Montreal. Um, it has a sense of itself as a city that expresses itself in its architecture, and that's really what I'm out to get people to, to look at. The course is a way for Montrealers to literally look at the city around them, to look at the buildings that they walk past every day, and to understand what they are. I think that people know, know more than they think they do about architecture, but often they're afraid and they think that they, they should be more qualified to know. The reality is we all, as people who live in a city, know something about our city and that's, that's, that's part of what I want to bring out.